Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we're going to learn about retrieve. So let's start. Before we proceed, let us know first the history. Dreamcast is a home video console released by Sega on November 27, 1998 in Japan, September 9, in 1999 in North America, and October 14, 1999 in Europe. It was a first in a sixth generation of video game consoles, preceding Sony's PlayStation 2, Nintendo's GameCube, and Microsoft Xbox. The Dreamcast was Sega's final console, with its discontinuation in 2001, making the end of the company's 18 years in the console market. With that being said, let us proceed with the installations. Running Redream is so easy. Once you download the copy, just simply right click, extract. Once done, open the folder. See the icon here? This application runs on its own. So just simply right click and open or double click. And there you go. From this point here, let us configure our Red Dream. So let's start. To start with, let us add our ROMs. Go to the library. From here, locate your ROMs. In my example, I saved my ROMs in Type C. Name folder ROMs. Now, inside of ROMs, make sure you save all your Dreamcast games, just like this one. Once you locate your ROMs, head back to your Manage Game Library, then add that directory. Once found, you may see a list of games inside your folder. So click any of it, then click one more, and there you go. So we need to add one more. And there you go. Next, let us proceed now to input. From here, pick from any option. For my demo, we're going to select this port 0. Then here, I'm going to customize my bind. So notice here, these are the buttons or joystick configuration. So let's work on that. Okay, to change the keypad, make sure you click then select from any button from your keyboard. So mine, I'm going to set my personal configuration. Okay, so what's done? If you are satisfied with this configuration, just leave at this, then go to the next step. Next, let us configure now our video menu. From here, you can pick from any option. So either way, you can also skip everything from here. But if you want some other features like with the mode, you can select this from borderless, exclusive, or full screen. That will be your choice. So also, you can change the window size depending on your PC. So make sure you select the appropriate uh, window size and you're good to go. So that's it. And lastly, we're going to work now on the system menu. The system menu is the system options. Let's say you're going to change your region, the language you use, and the connectivity on your PC. So from this demo, I'm just going to leave at this. So if you're concerned with this some section here, you can simply change according to your preference. 
So that's it. Now that we're done with the configuration, let us proceed now with the gate. Another good thing with Redeem is also you can modify the configuration while playing. Just simply press escape and then you can simply configure anything from these settings here. Or you can also modify the configuration from the menu as well. So that's it guys. Also, if you're working with Linux, make sure you download the Linux package. Then from here, right click the application. Select Extract here, then once done, head over to that folder, then select this with Dream application. Double click or simply right click should also be work as well. And there you go. To know more about Redream, just head over to redream.io. And from here, you can also select either for desktop and Android. Also, if you're working with desktop, you can simply select from the download section. From here, they have the stable release and also the development release. So feel free to explore either from Windows, Mac, Linux, and also the Raspberry Pi. Also, if you are not confident with the games that you're playing, you can search by selecting this menu. Okay, from here you may see all the games that are playable based from the issues uh, tested for this emulator. Alright, so that's it guys. Hope you like this video and please like and share and smash that button down below. Once again, if you find this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And see you guys at the next video series.
Cheers.